Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Cosmic Theater. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule. Now, a brief glimpse at actress Gloria Paul, who recently died at age 85. She achieved a degree of notoriety back in 1955 when she hosted a series of romance movies under the name Voluptua, but she was so provocative that the series was canceled after just seven weeks. However, she appeared in numerous other TV series and movies, including Commando Cody, Sky Marshal of the Universe from 1952. This originally was slated to be a serial, but was converted to a TV series. She plays the assistant to the evil ruler, portrayed by Gregory Gay. Commando Cody is portrayed by Judd Holdren. This is episode 9, Solar Sky Riders, in which the ruler has projected multiple images of the sun around the earth to burn us out. Let's see what happens. Roll tape! There she is, the statuesque Gloria Paul. As usual, she said nothing in the series. This keeps getting unbearable. Don't worry. We're moving to a vacant refrigerator plant. Well, isn't that where Kirk and Nordahl have their headquarters? Yeah. In between broadcasts of Commando Cody, they both managed to keep cool and comfortable there. Somehow, the ruler is able to multiply the images of the sun, possibly by reflecting them from various positions in space. Yes, but mirrors large enough to do the job wouldn't be practical, would it? The ruler wouldn't need mirrors if he had the secret of refractive force to use. A desert mirage is a reflection without mirrors. You're on the right track, John. Any abrupt change in density creates a surface that reflects light and heat. Remember the formula for figuring the frequency density ranges and electromagnetic transmissions of power? Yes. Yes, as the copy of it must say, but I... You and Joan make up a single phase scanning unit, utilizing the principles of that formula. Get it aboard the rocket ship and wait for me at 80,000 feet. Yes, sir. That wind you hear might even blow us some good. Not only will the dust storms it's causing filter out some of the heat from the skies, but it will also keep most of the traffic off the roads. Well, there'll be plenty of wind for that, and even more. Say, maybe you'll be able to spot the outfits of sending us broadcast. I'm hoping so. In the meantime, you and Joan get busy on that density detector. Not the wrong with it. Who's the one? 
Commander Cody, this is the ruler. By this time, there can be no question in your mind but that Earth is doomed. Tomorrow morning, five suns will rise above the horizon to victor your work. The next move will be up to you. You will have 12 hours in which to arrange for Earth's unconditional surrender to me. Should this be not forthcoming at the appointed time, I will cause the sixth and final sun to appear in the sky. Earth will be burned to a crisp. This fancy two-way radio sure made our job a lot easier. Yeah. Okay, I have some good news for you. Commando Cody was able to destroy the extra images of the sun and save the Earth. Yes, he saved the Earth. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos and of Commando Cody be with you. Yes, yes, yes.